Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking on Rust Scan and what this tool is all about, how fast you can actually scan your network. So we're gonna install it and I wanna do a guide in this video. So stay to the end and let's have some fun. Just remember, please like, subscribe and share. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so here we are on just Google, right? We can just say, what is Rust Scan and what it's all about? And it's a pretty much a port scanner. And we're going to run this against a metasploitable box that I have in my network, but we'll get to there a little later on. So RustScan is a port scanner tool that runs really fast and efficient. It is super fast. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and install it, and I'll show you guys a few commands in order for you to get it up and running. So default in Kali Linux, we don't have it. So if we just type in RustScan, there's nothing found. So there's a few things that we need to do in order for us to run it. And if you, whoops, let's go, let's go back here. And if we just go right out to their GitHub, I just have a few notes off to the side so I don't, I don't have to go, you know, on the screen. But this is it, right? You can recommend it. Obviously we can do Docker. We are gonna install Docker. And this is a little feature set scans all 65,000 ports in less than three seconds in, in, in three seconds. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to see that. Like I said, if we come back here, let me just do a net discover and net discover. What is net discover? Obviously, uh, I don't want to do that. So I want to do net discover dash dash help. I can't see because my big head is in the way dash help. So what we can do here, we can run this against a range of IPs. And obviously you need to know your subnet mask and the device. So sort of how we can do this is let's do, let's do range in my case one, well, sh let's just do an if config, right? So 192.168.100 is my network. So if I do, let's go up arrow, up arrow range 192.168.100.0 slash 24, right? So slash 24, and then I want to do it on the interface ETH zero, right? So is the interface, oh, dash, uh, dash I. Okay. I'm so used to, so this is only going to scan on my 192.168.100 network. And we have that uh, 130 here. So I want to go ahead and copy this. And just for shits and giggles, I want to go ahead and do an end map really quick. Dash A. What? What's going on with my la my my keyboard? Capital A, and then I want to go ahead and 192.168.100.130. Whoop. Okay. So we'll let this do its thing, and we'll see how long that takes. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. And what I'm going to do is just do a little sudo dash su and then this is a brand new box for Kali and I'm just going to I'm going to make a quick directory so I want to do mkdir tools and then cd to tools okay all right cool deal so now what we're going to do really quick I'm just going to do a quick uh, I want to install docker so let's go ahead and do that apt install docker.io and apt install docker.io unable to locate all right so let's just do apt update just to make sure everything is up to date and we'll give this a moment sometimes you need to do the updates and have everything up to date in order for you to install certain repositories and i'm glad this happened because i like to have everything out in the open for the mistakes that happen, just in case you run into the same exact thing, right? So let's go ahead and do that again. Let's see if uh, let's see if that fixed it. There we go. So now that fixed it. Okay. Now we can just hit Y for install. Yes, we want to continue, and let this go down its merry way to install Docker. All right. So once Docker is installed, we can run Rust, uh, uh, Rust scan within Docker, and I have the command here, and I want to showcase that shortly once this is done. And let's see how we're looking over here. Okay, so that ran, I don't know how long it took, but you can see it It ran relatively quick. That was quicker than I thought, to be honest. And this will do like an aggressive scan. It's gonna go ahead and see. It's metasploitable too, so you know there's a ton of stuff open. 
So we can see, you know, FTP, excuse me, FTP, SSH, Telnet, SMTP, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now this is, this is done. So now the next thing we're gonna do is I have a command here we're gonna run, okay? I wanna go ahead and run this. And the IP address for my scan will be 100.134 um, Metasploitable 2. So we're running Docker, we're running Docker run I, uh, IT dash dash RM, the name, Rust scan, Rust scan. And let's, let's go ahead and pull that down and it's gonna go ahead and run it. And you see it, it's super quick. And let's give this a moment. It's running all the open ports against my Metasploitable 2. And you can see that it's pretty, pretty quick. So let's do that again, just to see the speed. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight seconds, right? But you know, remember, this is in a VM environment. This is probably going to be a little slower than your normal thing. So now what we can do, if we want to have a standalone Rust scan, what we can do is install car uh, Cargo. So I want to go ahead and install that really quick. I just have all my commands here. So I want to go ahead and do this really quick. So you can do app apt space install Cargo and hit enter. Okay. So once this is done, then we can do cargo install Rust scan. And this is what we're gonna do to go ahead and install this. So let's go ahead and do the next command, cargo install Rust scan. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and do this whole install for us. And once we're done, we can do a few more commands that, you know, when I install this on my other Kali box, this is what I did. So I just took snippets of what I did and I'm showcasing these steps. If you do it another way, go do it whatever way you want, but this is the way I do it and the way I did it in the past. And it works and it's flawless. So, you know, there's a million ways to skin a cat and this is the way I'm skinning my cat. So we'll give this a moment and we'll resume once this is done. All right, folks, so this has been completed and it took about two and a half minutes, to be honest. All right, so let's just zoom this in a little bit. And what it says here, it's installing on the root uh, dot cargo bin rust scan. So the warning, be sure to add this to the path file. So you have to make sure you, you do this because I did not read this the first time and it wasn't working. And I just, I always take a snapshot of my VM before I install any tools, just in case I screw something up, I can restore it. But just make sure you read this because don't be like me and make sure you add it to run the install for the binaries. So Let's just do this really quick. Let's do a quick echo shell. Okay, so the Z shell is in user bin uh, Z shell, right? Let's just go ahead and just nano here. So we're gonna nano this file. And what we have to do is make the necessary changes like we just saw. So let's come all the way to the bottom. We can come all the way to the bottom. And let's go ahead and see right here. This is fine. So what I want to do really quick here is I'm going to, I want to comment that out. Let's just do, go ahead and create it uh, on what is today's date. I want to put Saturday for YouTube. Okay, that's fine for me. And then it's going to be export because we have to create this export file to the path equals equals path, I need a dollar sign here, uh, dollar sign. It's really hard to like <laughs> try to position this thing a little better next time. But uh, slash root slash dot uh, cargo and then slash bin, okay? And then let's close that out. Should be good now. Let's do this. And we should be good. So let's do a control X, Y, enter. All right, so now we have that added. Now let's just do something really quick. Let's just do source, S-O-R-U-S-C. Can't spell, S-O-U-R-C. Why can't I spell today? Not really today. Why can't I spell anytime? All right, dot Z, S-H-R-C.
course, sh or c. Okay, so now, moment of truth. Now let's go ahead and try to run Rust scan. And it's working. Perfect. So now all we have to do is, if you don't know how to utilize the tool, we can do dash dash help. And we can see all the arguments and all the options that we have here. So we know the target that we want is going to be our Metasploitable 2. So let's go ahead and just copy this. Come back to the next tab. And let's go ahead and run this. Let's do a tack A and then our IP address. And you can see it's running pretty quickly. And compared to, you know, mass scan or nmap, it's, it's pretty quick. And now that, that was pretty good. And you can also run different kinds of uh, commands. You can run uh, unlimited, uh, U limit, whatever kind of scans. You can just go back up to the to the options. Let's see if I can make this a little smaller. Let's go ahead and just up our one more time. See if that well, it doesn't really show any different. But you can look at all the flags and the options here. And you can just tinker with it, right? We can just say, okay, we want to go ahead and I have a command here. Let's go ahead and run this really quick. And let's go ahead 100.130, okay? And we say, okay, it's a limit of 5,000, right? So, and now the next one we're gonna do is just specific ports. So let's go ahead and just say, okay, we want to do just port, what ports, uh, 21, 22, 21, 21, 22, and 23, okay? And now that was super quick. And now it'll give us all the information that resides on that box with these 21, 22, and 23 ports, right? So the list goes on and you can say, okay, this is one more thing I'll run. So now we have a, a range of ports if we want to do 21 to 50, for an example. And we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. And I'm just seeing what all the commands I have here. And obviously we can do one more, I guess. I keep saying one more because I don't want this video to be forever. And we're gonna do dash dash, dash SC, dash SV sort of like the scans for nmap, service scans and all that good stuff. And yeah, we can perform a default scripting scan and a service scan. And there we go, you know, it didn't really give us too much that I do something wrong. Uh, let me see, uh, SC, oh yes, I did. Here we go, I've got the capital C. And uh, that's what happens when you type fast or you don't pay attention likes me sometimes. Okay, so now it's running that scan, and it's depending on the complexity of the script, results may take time to appear. So, you know, you get it. It's similar to Nmap, you get sort, sort of the same results, but in this case, I like this tool better. When I'm doing my engagements, I use Rust Scan on my production Kali box. And I think that should be it for now. This, I'm not gonna let this uh, keep scanning, I'm gonna let that uh, finish now. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope this video was informative for you guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Please, again, like, subscribe, and share. If you can see in the back, maybe you can't. We're almost at 77,000 subscribers. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you guys, like I said, go into uh, future conferences, you see me around, say hello, and I'm uh, hopefully I'm an approachable guy. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.